Nice Pack Monsters? Yeah! Turn groans into cheers and watch your pupils be excited to learn spelling, punctuation and grammar with Spag Monsters. My favourite thing about Spag Monsters is when you get new floors in your house and you can decorate it. Well, there's one particular child who couldn't read when he came into my class. We did a lot of work with traditional catch-up intervention and daily reading. Spag Monsters has truly transformed his love of reading and when he came in he was reading like a four-year-old. He's now reading at six years, eight months, which is just amazing. He just loves to read and it is down to his love of Spag Monsters. <laughs> my favourite game is Buzzwords because I know a lot of nouns and conjunctions and stuff. The way Spag Monsters are set up, when the children are working on an activity, it gives them a star rating. So they're always wanting to improve. So it gets them to revisit and reiterate what they've learnt and really consolidate it. So that then, if that is embedded knowledge, they can then transfer that into their work, their reading, their writing, and that's what they're enjoying. Engage your pupils with a variety of SPAG-related games. As they progress, games increase in difficulty based on curriculum learning objectives. Each game rewards them with coins to spend in the virtual shops and stars they can collect to unlock more levels. Just access it, input the children's names, and you get a little card that the children can then have in their trays to log in. It was very simple to do. If I can do it, I'm not great with IT, but if I can do it, anybody can. My favourite game is the race game with the aliens and the rockets. I like it that I'm the highest in the class and it's fun. Reluctant readers are really eager to read and the biggest bonus of Spag Monsters has been the improvement in the use of grammar terminology. It's visual, it's interactive. The children get so much enjoyment from exploring the different worlds. They're wanting to decorate their home. They have that little avatar that they can constantly chop and change. I like because you earn coins and you get to create your own character and design your house. There are reports for each pupil so you can track progress. See where pupils might need additional help or where they are excelling, enabling you to effectively support each child's learning. The children ask to play Spag Monsters every single lesson. And as soon as they get home from school, they, they ask their parents, can they play Spag Monsters? And it's created a real buzz around the classroom. By the way, when's the new map coming out in the rocket? Spag Monsters is fun, but I'm learning it. It's an incredibly valuable tool. I think it's an asset to every classroom. Highly useful tool within the classroom for teachers. Definitely recommend it. Teachers teach to make a difference, to influence and shape futures. You can do that today and start your pupils on their journey to becoming lifelong readers and proficient writers with Spag Monsters. Previously, we've used posters, songs, textbooks and the children would inwardly groan but now thanks to the creation of this game the children just absolutely love this part of, this, of the curriculum and I just want to say a huge thank you and I would highly recommend it to any other school. Watch your pupils enjoy customising their monster, decorating their house, earning medals and certificates, climbing the leaderboards and most of all having fun whilst learning. You can try Spag Monsters for free today so your pupils can join the thousands of children already seeing their core literacy skills and confidence skyrocket. I play Spag Monsters at school and at home. I feel like I'm learning.